wish you could stop the world from spinning to hold on to a precious moment with someone you love forever? Well, grow up. That's very selfish and dangerous. We need the Earth to spin, or else this happens. Hi, I'm Miranda Cosgrove. Welcome to the STEM Loft, where the landlord said it wasn't haunted and was honestly really weird about it. So what would happen if the Earth stopped spinning? Turns out, lots and lots of stuff, and it's all bad. Right now, the Earth is spinning really, really fast. We don't notice since we're moving along with it, but at the equator, you're moving east around 1,000 miles an hour. Objects in motion will remain in motion, unless acted on by an outside force. So if the Earth suddenly stopped spinning, every person, rock, building, car, and piece of dirt would keep moving at 1,000 miles an hour. Now, we won't launch into space, since escape velocity needed to do that would be over 20,000 miles an hour. But we would still be in for a pretty bad time. I'm no doctor, but there's no way being catapulted that fast is good for your health. And you know what else would be traveling at 1,000 miles an hour? All the water in the oceans and the air in the atmosphere, which means sudden winds five times faster than a tornado, enough to destroy cities, forests, and mountains and seas turned into giant tsunamis. This effect would be less the further into the northern or southern hemisphere you lived. But even here in Los Angeles, we're still moving about 850 miles an hour, faster than the speed of sound. Everything that relies on satellites, which need to maintain a constant position over Earth's surface, known as geostationary satellites, would stop working. Right now, these satellites orbit around Earth at the same speed that our planet is spinning, keeping its position over one spot. If the Earth suddenly stopped spinning, they'd keep moving and lose that position over a precisely chosen spot. That means different elements of communications, television, and weather monitoring systems would all go down. But let's say the Earth stopped spinning more slowly, so we don't all get yeeted along the surface. Yeeted is actually a very professional science term, if you weren't aware. First off, it would change where the Earth's oceans hang out. Earth might look like a perfect sphere, but billions of years of rotation have made Earth just a little bit thicker in the middle. This oblate spheroid shape means sea level at the equator is about 13 miles higher than at the poles. Without the spin of the Earth, the water would flow to lower elevations in the North and South Poles, leaving one enormous but mostly barren continent around Earth like a belt with two oceans at the top and bottom of the planet. So all of Northern Europe, all of Canada, and Russia, and even the top half of the United States would be completely submerged. But if all that wasn't bad enough, no more rotation would mean one day would last a whole year, which sounds nice if that falls on a weekend, but you wouldn't be able to enjoy it since half the year you'd be shrouded in darkness of night and half the year you'd be cooking in the sun. On the night side, lack of sun and cold temperatures would kill off most plants. On the day side, the scorching heat could reach 100 degrees Celsius, enough to kill most life and boil off any lakes and rivers. Scientists also think the rotation of Earth's core is the main driver of our planet's magnetic field. Without this bubble of protection, the surface would be bombarded by dangerous radiation, and the solar wind would eventually strip Earth of its atmosphere. While a sudden stop probably isn't in our future, we are slowing down. Gravitational drag from the moon means our Earth day gains an average of 1.8 milliseconds per century. So if you're worried about the Earth no longer spinning, relax. We've got 500 billion years before the moon brings us to a stop. And who knows where humanity will be by then? Maybe Mars, but that's a whole nother story. Hey, it's Miranda Cosgrove, your favorite host of Mission Unstoppable. I'm the only host. And if you want to watch awesome STEM videos and exclusive Mission Unstoppable clips, just make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell.